Katie. I'm a professional makeup artist and I am here with makeup tips to help you get really good at doing your own makeup. In today's video, I will be going over glitter, how to apply it, um, ways you can apply it, how to keep it staying on yourself, how to help that fallout problem. <laughs> so if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. In this video, we are going to be talking about glitter. I had a special request from a friend who just loves her glitter. So Jenny, this one's for you. <laughs> so in this video, um, I'm going to talk about glitter. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with glitter, to be perfectly honest. It's so pretty, it's sparkly, it's nice when it's done. I hate using it. It gets everywhere. It it, it is the herpes of art, as they say. So I have a love-hate relationship with glitter, right? But sometimes I use it, right? I have used it on myself on occasion, very rarely, but on occasion. Um, and I do have requests for it in my professional work as well. People especially request um, glitter and things like that for specific uh, looks. Right. So how do you how do you use glitter for, um, you know, a non circus or non stage application? Um, what kinds of glitters do you want to use? How do you get them to adhere? How do you apply them? That's what we're going to talk about. So the glitters that you use, you always want, always, 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 please always only use cosmetic grade glitter right? It has been specially processed to reduce the sharpness of the plastic, right? Glitter is plastic. I know that they are making um, some biodegradable ones now. I can't remember what they're made out of, um, but I know they are making some biodegradable ones that are not plastic. Um, I've heard mixed things on them, but they still have sharp edges, right? So the cosmetic grade ones are going to be um, finer. They are going to not have as harsh of an edge. You're not gonna see as big chunks in cosmetic grade glitter so that if it gets into your eyes, it's not going to hurt your eyes. You want to protect your eyes. You only get one set of eyes. Please protect them and only use cosmetic grade glitter. Do not use craft glitter. On your eyes please don't use craft glitter on your eyes i wouldn't use it anywhere on my face because glitter likes to go where it wants to go and chances are it'll get in my eyes because that's my luck right um so some examples of different glitters you have your pressed glitters you have loose glitters you have glitters that are already in a formula like an eyeliner or a um i don't know what you would even call it it's kind of like a a gel almost um, that the glitter is already in. Um, so there's various different kinds of glitters out there, right? Um, so some examples I have of some, this is one by uh, NYX. This is some of their glitter here. Um, this one is a very fine glitter. Uh, this is one of their pink ones. They have a lot of different colors come in little containers. So they're good for, you know, the average consumer. Um, this is one I use a lot for um, specialty makeups. This is the Makeup Forever glitter. Um, this is a medium size glitter, like the glitter itself is medium size. I'll show you in just a second, but you can see the tub is very big. So it's intended for a professional use, right? It's lots of glitter. Um, you have your pressed glitters, which are going to come in a pressed pan, much like your eyeshadows. So this is an example of one. This is the Tati Beauty palette. Um, and this row right down here, these are all pressed glitters. So they've been pressed into the pan. Um, as I mentioned, there's also like glitter eyeliners. Um, I know NYX makes some, Urban Decay makes some really good ones. Those are gonna be really great if you want a glitter liner, if you want something more precise. Those are gonna be a really good option for you um, for glitters. Is something that's already mixed with something to help it hold. Um, the ones like by, um, what's the company? Lemonhead. Um, they have some that are mixed with almost like a jelly kind of, I'd have to look up what it actually is, but it's like a gel. Um, and again, that is going to stick without anything else to help it 
here. So those are nice because it skips a step and makes it a little bit easier, right? So let me show you a little bit um, of what these look like. And here we go, they're getting everywhere already. So the NYX glitter is a very fine glitter. I'm just gonna use my finger to put it on here. And then I'm going to take the bigger one. This is the Makeup Forever and get some of those, the medium sized glitter on. This is just so you can see um, the difference in the size. These are gonna be, these are all pinks, but they're a little different in, in uh, color. And then I'm gonna take some of the pressed one. And again, I'm just using my finger to put it on the back of my hand. So those were some uh, examples of some of the glitters. Now, to get it to adhere, especially the loose ones, uh, the best way to do that is to have something tacky for it to stick to. Um, I really like the NYX Glitter Primer. Right, um, it costs like what six, eight dollars, something like that. It just doesn't cost very much. Um, and this is a little bit. It's a primer, an eye primer that's a little bit tacky, right? So the glitter has something to stick to. So I'm going to show you the difference um, on my hand here. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. You don't need very much, right? Very, very small amount. I'm going to spread it out, right? And then I'm going to clean that finger off. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to get some of this um, Makeup Forever glitter, the medium size glitter. Um, and I'm going to get it on my hand here, my finger here. And I'm going to put it on my hand where there's no primer. And then I'm going to put it on my hand where there is primer. Let me find the sticky part here. <laughs> that would help find the sticky part, right? Right, and if you pat the glitter, it'll stick a little bit better. But you can see the difference between here, right? No primer with the primer, right? It's a huge difference, right? It really has something to stick to. So it's gonna stay there rather than on your fingers, right? So let's get some on our eyes. Let me show you how to do that. So we'll zoom you in here. So I'm going to do, um, you can see on my eyes, um, I already have a base um, eyeshadow on um, and some mascara, a little bit of uh, eyeliner. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I would do with uh, the loose glitter on one eye and I'm gonna show you the pressed glitter on the other so you, just so you can see how that they perform, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my primer here Get it on my finger, and I don't need a lot, right? Just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it on the lid. Now, where on your lid should you put the glitter? Wherever you want, <laughs> honestly. You know, it's something that you should be creative with, be artistic with it, have fun with it. On this eye, I'm gonna put it all over because I think that that would be fun. So I'm gonna make sure that my whole lid, the whole bottom lid, and up a little bit into the crease is all covered. Now, if you have hooded eyes, this is gonna transfer, right? That's a problem that you have with hooded eyes is that this part co covers the mobile lid, right? The upper lid here where the brow bone is, it hangs over and covers that part. So put it where it's not gonna touch, right? Put, um, you know, maybe put, concentrate some glitter out here if you're having fun with it, right? Instead of trying to put it on the mobile lid where it's just gonna be covered or transfer um, on you. So play with where you place it if you have hooded or mono lids or, you know, lids where it's going to transfer, right? So you can feel when you put that on that it's a little bit sticky. I can feel that, right? So to apply the glitter, you can use a couple of different ways to apply it. You can use a flat brush like this one. It's like a concealer brush, right? Just a flat paddle brush. You can use a sponge tip applicator. So these I just got at the drugstore. These are the old school sponge tip applicators. These are really good for shimmer glitter applications. Um, or you can just use your good old finger, 
right? So I am going to take the, um, the NYX one and I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna use the lid to help hopefully contain it, which is not, I can see it going everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take some, I'm gonna show you with the brush first. We're gonna put some on the brush. All right, so I'm gonna load it up and get it on the brush there. Right, and then I'm going to pat. Pat, 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 pat. Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot. I was gonna show you how to catch the fallout. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to catch the fallout on this side. <laughs> so you can see the fallout on this side. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, so that's with the brush. So hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to use the sponge tip here. Let me get some on my sponge tip applicator and I'll show you that. Obviously that's not full coverage that I want on the, with the brush. I would keep going until I got the coverage that I want. So this is with the sponge. You kind of just pick up a little more. This is a good option if you want to use your fingers and um, you have long nails or something, right? So it's hard to get in on your eyes with it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my finger on the rest of my lid. So I'm getting a bunch of it on my finger and I'm just pressing it, All right? Now for fallout, my biggest tip with glitter and fallout is going to be if you're doing a glitter eye look, do your eyes first. And then you clean up all of the glitter and you get rid of it and then you do the rest of your face. That's going to be the best tip that I have for you when it comes to managing the glitter fallout, right? So you can see we have with the finger, with the sponge and with the brush, right? So you can get the coverage that you want. It's just how much time it's going to take you. Um, as far as which one you might prefer. Um, I'm gonna go over that on top with just a little bit of the medium. So I'm gonna get my brush here and I'm gonna get the medium on there and I'm going to pack it around here. All right, just like I would with, if I'm doing different textures of eyeshadow. I'm going to do the same with the glitter because it's different textures. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully the light is picking up the difference in the fine glitter and the medium glitter. And I want to bring it up a little bit up here. And I think I need some more primer up there because it's not sticking. So I'm going to get a teensy bit of primer here and I'm just going to Put it right here where I want it to go. And I'm gonna pick up my glitter and I'm gonna pack it. And you can probably, I don't know if I can see it, but you can probably see it falling. <laughs> it is pretty. I will give you that. It is pretty. Okay, so now we have full glitter eye. I have a fine glitter and I have a uh, medium glitter on that eye. So on to the other eye. I'm gonna leave the fallout that has happened on this eye. This side of my face, I have no fallout. So some things that you can do is you can put things under your eyes to help catch it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, don't do your base, your foundation, all of that until after you've done your glitter eyes so that you can go in and clean it up and you're not redoing all of your base work that you did, right? So you can use something like a nice hydrating eye gel, something like this, right? Where these little gel patches that you just stick under there and you hold it. You can use something called a shadow shield. 
Um, this is, let me open it here. This is gonna stick onto your skin. Um, if you're worried about the sticky, you can put a little bit of eye cream down under your eye where you're gonna place it and then put this guy down. So I've peeled off the backing. So it's sticky on this side um, and not on the other side. So I'm gonna put that. Now, the cool thing about these is you can kind of help create a shape. So why don't we do like a fun um, winged look with, with the glitter like it, in a halo, that would be fun, okay. So I'm going to put this like here and I'm going to get the shape that I want here, out here. So I followed the line of my lower lash line. I stuck that down and there we go. And that's going to help collect quite a bit of it. You can see this side where I've got some of the glitter fallout. I hope you can see it, but it's, it's definitely there. Okay. So, um, on this eye, like I said, we're going to do a fun winged thing. So still the same base. I just used a basic taupey eyeshadow when I was running my errands earlier today. So let's see, let's, we're going to use this Tati palette and use the pressed glitter in it. Um, and I am going to come into, let's stick with this pink theme. I'm going to come into, um, this poet color here, this, the matte poet color. Okay. So let's get that. And I have my fluffy eyeshadow brush. It's kind of a smallish size. Um, fluffy, not too fluffy though. Okay. So I'm going to take that poet color. So if you're incorporating glitter into a look with other things, the glitter is going to be the topper, right? It's going to be the thing that goes on top. And I'm going to bring this out here. Notice I haven't put that primer on yet. I do have an eyeshadow base on under um, my base taupey shade because I always use an eyeshadow primer. So I'm following this wing right out here. Um, these little guide, using these shadow shields as a guide may be a good thing for those of you that have um, hooded or droopy or monolids to help you um, get that shape that you want. Let's see. Right. So I'm making a V. Right. And then look at yourself. Right. You want to look. Make sure that you are the shape that you want to be. Now, how do I want to do? Okay, so I'm going to bring this over here in the crease. I'm just following my bones in the crease, right? I'm just blending that color over. I'm going to bring the glitter across all of the, this, the base of my lid here. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. I hope so. Okay, now I am going to put on some of that primer. Now, if I don't want to use my hands, I am going to use my little sponge tip or a brush to put it on. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand here. Use my hand as a little palette. And I'm going to take my little sponge, my sponge tip applicator, and I'm putting the primer on the lid right where I want it and a little past, right? And I'm just kind of patting it. I'm not smearing it because I don't want to smear that other color around. Okay. Get that all patted in. Okay. And then I am going to use um, the other side of that same applicator. And I'm going to get it in my uh, pressed glitter in this same palette, right? And it's the same color It's the poet glitter, right? And then I'm going to press it onto the lid. And you have to keep going in and get as much as it is 
that you want on there. Keep going, just keep glittering, just keep glittering. <laughs> Glitter is fun, it's pretty, but it is now everywhere. <laughs> okay, and I want a little bit more. If you feel like you really want a good base, um, you can put a shadow underneath it. Like I said, the glitter is the topper, so put it over whatever you would like, you know? Um, another thing you can do is you can get a little bit of that primer, right? That I've still got a little on my hand. That's what I was showing my hand for and kind of mix it. Right. So I'm going to take some of my glitter and I'm going to mix in some of the primer and I'm going to press that. All right there. Look at that density. That's a nice, that's a nice density there. You like that. Okay, now I'm going to take off this guy and continue the look, right? So continue it so it goes under the eye. So we just peel this guy off. Okay, that's what it looks like. So you can see any kind of glitter that may have come off, you can see that that's on there. And then look at my face, right? So you can see I've got a, a, a few little strays that fell lower down, but nowhere near as bad as this side. So that helped a lot. So coming under the eyes, I am going to bring a little bit of that poet, that matte poet shade under the eye, I'm going to continue. You can see the nice sharp line that that made, right? So I'm going to continue that line just along the lash line. All right? And then I'm going to use that trick of getting a little bit of primer. So I'm going to put a little primer on my hand and a little bit of the glitter I'm going to kind of scoop it up from my uh, palette there, right? And I'm mixing it on my hand and mixing it with the primer to kind of make a little concoction. And this is what is nice about those uh, glitter liners and like the, the gel liner, the gel glitters and stuff is that they already have this mixture, so you don't have to use it. All right. Okay. So I mix that up and I'm going to get it on my brush and then I'm going to press it under the eye. So glitter has all the drama, right? It's going to do all the drama for you. You don't have to go super complicated with the rest of the eye look. Um, it's going to give you all of that, that drama. You can go just glitter. You can go mixture, whichever you would like to do. This deserves some lashes. So I am going to go put on some false lashes and I will be right back. Okay, lashes on. Fully glamorous, yes. Okay, so a couple things that I want to do to finish this off. Um, I want to blend the sharpness of this um, winged eyeshadow here just a smidge. So let me get a clean brush. Um, this is just a fluffy, right, just a clean brush. I'm just gonna run it lightly along the edge here so that it's not quite so sharp, just cause that's the way I like it. Not quite so sharp. And then I'm gonna get a little bit more on there for this little gap right here. 
Ja. Ja. Okay. So, you can see that. Yeah. Just a little bit more, a little more blended, not quite so, so sharp, but still dramatic and pointy. So, glitter. How do we clean up the glitter fallout that we did get? So on this side, it's pretty minimal. There's just a few that escaped, you know, um, that, that little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something sticky, <laughs> right? The best way to clean up glitter seems to be tape. So I've got my cellophane tape here, scotch tape, whatever it is that you call it. Scotch is the brand, but it's sellotape, right? So I made a ring to put on my fingers and I'm just going to lightly press on the skin and clean up any glitter that may have come. Yeah, and I've got some down here on my chin. See what I mean why it gets everywhere? All right, so there we go. Easy peasy cleanup, right? This side where we have a lot more, you're gonna have to spend a lot more time doing that, right? So let's get what's left of the stickiness on here. So you can see on this side, I twisted it around, you can see the glitter that I picked up. So this is the easiest way to contend with all that glitter is to just get some tape and pick it all up. But the less you can, that falls down initially is going to be better. Yeah. Let me get another one here. All right. My tape. There we go. And I didn't make this one as big, but there we go. It'll work. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna really get it up. Now, a setting spray is going to help um, get this to hold. Um, your tacky base is going to help get this to hold so that you get don't get too much fallout throughout the night. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, the glitter getting everywhere is just something you're going to have to accept as part of wearing glitter. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. So there we can see that that's cleaned up. I think I got it pretty well, both sides cleaned up. Um, my base just needs a little bit of touch up here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. We'll just touch that up with my powder here. And there we go. There we have our look. Right. So, um, to help your makeup last longer, try a setting spray, um, of something waterproof, that kind of thing, um, sprayed on the face, let it dry, right? Um, some of the good ones are um, some of the more um, professional ones, uh, like the Ben Nye Final Seal, you have the Scandinavia ones, those are really good. Um, some of the more consumer side ones, you have the Urban Decay All Nighter, the Makeup Forever, Mist and Fix. Um, you have, uh, there's one by Kryolan and I'm totally blanking on the name of it, um, but those are going to help set your makeup. Um, so what I would do for something like this is I would close my eyes, I would lightly mist it, and I would leave my eyes closed for however long it took it to dry. That's gonna help like hairspray, right, for your face, but it's not gonna irritate your eyes, shouldn't. Um, but that will help it last as well, right? So you are gonna have some fallout throughout the night or day or whatever it is that you're wearing this. Um, but the more you, tackiness that you can get underneath the glitter to hold it, and then some kind of setting spray over the top, again, to hold it in place, the more you have of that, the less fallout you're going to get throughout the night. Um, but just accept that you will get some. It's just a fact of life. Um, if, like I said earlier, if you have hooded eyes, right? So my eyes aren't hooded. I have more um, mobile lid space that's visible. Um, 
hopefully I can get somebody in here soon, but it has hooded eyes and I can show you some different techniques. Um, but if I was gonna do a glitter look on a hooded eye, um, I would focus the glitter up in, up in this area, up in here, right? Just under the brow bone, up on that part of the hood right? Um, that's where I would focus the glitter because that's where it's going to be seen. You won't see it if it's on the mobile part of the lid because that part of the lid is covered. And as you're moving throughout the night, it's going to blink and it's going to transfer and it's just going to get everywhere, right? The more friction you have, the more it's going to come off, unfortunately. So I hope that that was helpful for you. Um, had some fun playing with glitter. Now all my stuff is covered in glitter. C'est la vie. <laughs> it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that you have a great day.